Welcome, guys, to another episode of Reaction to Real Life Stories and Situations! Welcome you, welcome you, oh. and more importantly, welcome you over there. And also, welcome you. Welcome to my show. Welcome you as well. Thank you. It's, it's nice to be here. My fingers broke. <laughs> <laughs> guys, have you ever had a cannibalistic dad? Have you ever had an uncle that's horrible? Have you ever have you ever been the only man alive on an island full of women? Have you ever got your stepmom pregnant? What? That's disgusting. <laughs> Why'd you come up with that? That's great. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here. This is Baz. Here. Did you see what I did? I was like, so what is going on, guys? I was using my shoulders to show. This is Ryan here. I should try that actually. Yeah, I like that. A little metronome. Use the shoulders as the metronome, this is, isn't it? This is going on. This is going on, guys. This is going on, guys. Watch this here. Uh, Ryan's oh, going on, guys. This is broke what's my shoulder. happening. Uh, no, Can okay. you mess up? Baz, poke in there. Okay. Oh, he's broke my arm. Guys, <coughs> he pressed in a... Uh, it, it gives, uh, okay, we should stop. What are we doing? <laughs> 25 years old, gonna... guys. Oh, 26 God, years old. Are you actually... <laughs> there we go. Oh, good. You read us that's a tomato, gonna be, that's man. Gonna, that's going to be out of context yeah, right that... there. <laughs> Guys, we're going to react to more real life stories. You guys really enjoyed them, so we figured we'd pick some pretty wacky and quirky pretty ones. Sexy stories, Ooh. guys. Oh, guys, baby, guys, I can't guys, wait watch, to get into this. Guys, watch this. Ah! That's but that's a bum hole, that is. What? <laughs> that's definitely out of context as well. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Smack that first story, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> Oh god. Guys, like the video as well, please. If you when you like the video, it actually donates a little portion of charity money to us. Yeah. YouTube has a fund for YouTubers. Yeah. They don't talk about this, but uh, for every single like we get a cent. <sighs> Five thousand cents equivalents to <sighs> lots of money. Lots that we really need for beans on toast, <laughs> guys. I need Hey, I'm Steve, and I'm in big trouble. Oh no, Steve. I recently Steve. found proof that my dad is a real life cannibal. And you're also a giant I'm not Steve. Yeah, what the hell? And I'm not sure if I should contact the police or FBI, but I know I have to do something. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should contact the police or just join him. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of tasty, though. I don't... Season up their ass. Because my what? dad needs let's to keep, be stopped. Watching. I okay. should realize that he was weird when I was a kid. My okay. dad always told me stories about a cannibal tribe in the Brazilian Amazonas. I mean, he told those fair stories to read about them. so much detail as if he had well, experienced it himself. If I he how he talks. They normally only ate deceased <laughs> well, they all do people, it. but sometimes when they thought someone was a sorcerer or a witch, oh, they would make an exception and eat oh, that my gosh. person alive. And laugh whilst they're doing worse, it. He told me they mostly accuse little girls of uh -oh. being witches. What the heck? He also said that those indigenous Brazilian oh, tribes would Lord. go out and try to capture men of other oh. tribes and what? then do a big feast. Wait, hang on a minute. Turned them into a chicken. To Literally thing. turned them into a chicken drumstick. Oh, yeah, they, they cut down a man's leg, right? Yeah. And they, they shaped the meat. They cut knives and they carved it into yeah. a chicken bone. I mean, that's what my legs look like anyway. So I got little, Christ, chi little chicken legs. Have you ever gone to the doctors about that? Yeah. Guys. Yeah. Look, I'll put a picture of his feet on right now. There you go. Oh. It's very weird, isn't it? But I was young, and I kind of thought my oh. dad's obsession with cannibalism was normal. What? He also has a bunch of human skulls all over our house. Is that not and illegal? I asked where he got those from. He said he bought them on eBay. But I highly doubt that that's true. Yeah, dude. Because uh, four years ago. Catch the watch documentary. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Son, so check out careers. this mutilated <laughs> clown from being a school teacher to becoming a crematorium a school operator. Eater. His new job oh my is gosh. all about turning dead corpses into ashes. And it's his duty to treat I those bodies with respect. I don't think they push him in like that. But Maybe I they do. But I suspect that he is taking those bodies apart and secretly eating them. Uh, the other what? weird thing he does is that might be run, once man. a year. My mom told me he has family over there. He does I not. Yeah, kid, sure. But why had I never seen my Brazilian family? Hmm. And why had I never been invited to visit them? That's right. Well, he goes and eats them, doesn't he? Yeah. I found out the truth. Thanks uh, for the subtitles, man. I went to my dad's man. wardrobe, and at the bottom, I found uh -oh. a hidden box. Oh, when no. I opened it, I saw several sets of human teeth. It was so creepy. And what? there was one photo showing my dad I'm wearing those right teeth now. around his head, surrounded nice. by some indigenous jungle people. Damn, they boots. got that high tech stuff. Yeah, I bet man. they go to like internet cafes and stuff, don't you? <laughs> you took the picture. Yeah, that's just a good a, point. A tribesman going, well, do I work? <laughs> yeah. You see the, the other one, just pictures <laughs> of the man's face. Oh. Another photo Let's showed see. my dad holding a spear in his hand next okay. to some indigenous warriors. Then that, that's, they're posting like for their Facebook hunting. profile pictures. I yeah. just Dang. hope it wasn't for some other humans. This is LinkedIn photo. But now, I, I knew so. where my dad went Patrick. once a year. Why is, what the hell is that? That's a good meme, that's funny, that, isn't it? To hang out with some cannibalistic, warmongering tribe 
Oh my gosh, and they don't eat him? Maybe he went on hunting other yeah. humans with them so they could eat them afterwards. Oh my gosh. I hope this was all a big joke, but when I confronted my dad and asked if he had ever eaten uh, human flesh, he did it? his response That's was Kim so creepy. Yeah. A big grin appeared on his face. I love then gosh, he asked she'd be me, terrible. How do you know, son? <laughs> At first, I didn't know how to respond. Wait, are you eat you? I had gathered myself, I said, you are a disgusting and evil Tell psychopath. Him. Wait, can we talk? He'd be terrible in a police station, wouldn't he? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like instantly in the first <laughs> crime. So did you kill these people? Yes. <laughs> I had uh, the kidneys with... Was uh, it liver with kidney uh, beans? Uh, I forgot what it is. Keep going. But he responded. It's really weird, guys. Can no, look how big no. his hand is. It's He's, not yeah, evil, no. it's not disgusting. I mean, what's the difference between eating pig, beef, or human? There um, is no difference. I mean, uh, if a human there's dies definitely of some... a natural cause, then it's not evil to eat the corpse. Because what? a dead person Hang on doesn't a minute. care. So uh, yeah, because they don't have the ability to, man. Operator, so you can have free lunch at work? I asked him. Wow, I Good joke, though. Like that. Those are old uh. and sick people. That would be disgusting. So he's eating people no, with cancer. I'm just fascinated no, he's... by dead bodies. It's really oh, no big gosh. deal. He responded. This guy's well, very in my interesting, dad man. thinks that being a cannibal is no biggie. Mm. I'm honestly scared of him. Yeah, dude, I don't I'd run. What he's capable of. If he is willing to spend thousands Splash of dollars money. each year to fly Throwing to Brazil out there, dude. just to eat other humans, Dora? <laughs> he might also be willing to eat my mom or me. And this time, is getting bad. What's he, he asked me if I want Captain Dunks. <laughs> That's good. That's a good meme, guys. Just find all that memes. Come with him to Brazil. <laughs> Oh my gosh! A great adventure, and Kid, I can if you say yes, for, you're done. You know what? He said it's <laughs> better than anything else he had ever tasted. He just casually so talks about this in the kitchen. Even slightly interested in cannibalism. This whole thing is so disturbing. I am yeah, seriously say. considering calling the FBI. You should do it, I man. Don't want my dad to <laughs> in go front to of his dad. Yeah. Because then What's he doing? Be very lonely. FBI. To make things worse, my dad recently bought a huge barbecue grill. Uh, this is just expecting the worst, but to make it worse, my dad converted my bed into a huge crematorium. It's like a furnace uh, system. You put a spike on my a ass. <laughs> a what? <laughs> Through my mouth, and now I'm in, under a fire. I don't know. Oh, I can't oh, breathe. Jesus Christ, oh, okay. I've broke my headphones. Guys, I've broke my headphones oh, again. And okay. uh, it's the third pair. This what am I today. doing? <laughs> To be honest, if someone wants to eat my corpse after I mean, I'm dead, I wouldn't mind. And what? I recently hey, on, was justifying it. more and more moms eat their own placentas after giving birth. It's so disgusting. That's in his search history now. Yeah, man. Out there. Hottest trend. What the hell? Did she, she actually do that? Placenta after giving birth. F is, have guess, they actually done that? As long as I you don't hurt others, for you can eat whatever you want. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't I'll just think play my dad center. You know what I mean, guys? I'll get my placenta and I'll play center uh, of the camera. Uh, I'm gonna watch this anyway. <laughs> I assume that he goes to Brazil once a year to hunt for fresh human meat. So it's like a and two weeks ago he cooked a tradition. Some nice soup with pork meat inside. Oh, oh human tastes so like I pork. That's what they say. Because two days later, he asked me how I liked the soup, and oh, no. I told him that it tasted good. The dad's. <laughs> oh, got door. <laughs> I, 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 I don't like this man. Another human. With and he just, oh, he just got away with that please casually. Please let me know in the comments what you would do in my situation. Like and share shall as well I and subscribe. My dad being a cannibal, or no. shall I contact the FBI? I mean, Baz, what would you do if you found out your father was consuming de uh, alive people now dead? Uh. And with that, we'll carry on. Yeah. But oh, he's currently working as a crematory operator. There he goes. He's doing it again. Means that he might be eating your dead grandpa He's taking, right he's now. eating toes, man. Do you mind him doing that? Thank you for listening to my story. <laughs> Is that and it? Please subscribe to this channel for Wait, more hang on. animated stories. What happens after? There's another story. A bonus uh, story? A <gasps> bonus story. My name What's is this? story, sorry. And I want to tell you why I got plastic surgery and whether it helped me Whoa! win over my... We just went from one story to another. We hit the jackpot, baby. We ready? All right, Baz, you ready? Yeah, let's Baz. go. Hang on. I dream guy Jordan or not. Dang. She got plastic surgery for that? I was a teenager. My Latina mom always told me I looked ugly because I didn't wow. have a big butt or big breasts. I think we she have to censor that. Censor that right to the, the screen there. Surgery. <laughs> well, it was easy oh for my her to gosh, man. me because she was born very curvy. Okay. And even in her 50s, guys couldn't 50? stop staring at her. Her words uh, made me feel very yeah, it's really insecure creepy, actually, about it? my looks. 
but she was right. Uh, no, why don't we just say the that? It's unfortunate that some people really have to be brought up like this. Yeah, I know, it's terrible. Like, it's like there's a certain conformity to go to. Me. He was without a doubt the most What's up with his hair? popular guy yeah. in our school. Did you realize he's got bugs in and there all the time? I just wondered if he'd be interested in dating me if I got bigger butt and bigger breasts. Again, we're going to have to censor nice. each side well, of that. My 18th birthday, my mom gifted me a butt implant surgery. What? Operation butt was augmentation. Brutal, but... What would you do? Like, imagine, imagine you're a female. Well, your your mom... 18th, it's your 18th birthday. It would be Christmas Day for you, wouldn't it? Yeah. It'd be snowing outside and you'd open a piece of paper. It'd and say, bigger pe- butts. Penis enlargement. I'll say thank you very much, but thank you. I'll take it, please. <laughs> yeah, you've read my mind. Thank you, man. <laughs> wow. After the operation, when I saw my ass, Damn. I was shocked. Okay. It was so Did much you, bigger wait, than Wait, she I just fired. Hang on a second. She, on no, she lets her rip, look. When I saw my ass, I was shocked. <laughs> it was so much bigger than I had expected. <laughs> Yeah, it makes you think, do the, do, the, the sounds, up. do the sounds of farts sound different when you've got a bigger butt? Imagine the rippling sound that comes you're off. You're right. I mean, <sighs> I, reckon, I reckon it does. I think yeah. you're right. Damn. Guys, oh. can you confirm that for us? Why is a mom so obsessed with looks, though? I from the world, so the first thing I did was upload a picture of my ass onto Instagram. Oh, oh my gosh, she went all out. my friends were all shocked and wrote, what the hell happened? Okay. I hoped they would be supportive. But when we met up, they all made fun of me. Uh-oh. And said I would do anything to get attention from guys. Wow. Jeez, man. She can't that, win. And she really can't. What's the next step? To each other. So she got I realized beats. that if my friends so didn't support bigger. my decision, <laughs> then they bigger. weren't my real friends to begin with. So I became a humbug. I to upload photos of my butt. And in just <laughs> oh over gosh. three months, I gained 10,000 Instagram followers. Damn. Incredible. My mom told me I could I become famous that. and yeah, that I man. needed my breast done next. Jeez, this mother... After my How is she making this money? Surgery, yeah, do you know what I mean? His eyes stared at me. Look at that No matter catwalk. where I went, I probably looked a bit over the top, to be honest. Maybe. But luckily, I live near Hollywood, where many women have breast and butt operations. So that's so where you go, I don't guys. Stand out too much. If you want to get that, that's where you, you move to Hollywood. You know yeah. what I mean? You plan ahead. You do the move first, and then you do that after. Yeah. Then you get in there, and then you do this, and then you get in there and do that after. And if you don't have and enough finally, money to move I thought out attractive there, enough get to your mom's yeah. phone. Yeah. 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 Crush Jordan on Instagram. He responded to me immediately, and after a few days okay. of chatting, we had our first date. At first, That's good. he couldn't believe we had gone to the same high school. He said His he had never doing that thing me, again. so I had That's to tell him about remark. my butt and breast yeah. surgery. Luckily, he didn't mind. He okay. accepted me for who I was, and we officially started yeah, dating. Yeah, he just wanted to... However, yeah. it was I think, I think the we know why I accepted you, lady. could yeah. ever imagine. Uh-oh. He treated me like an object. Yeah, and talked to I all his why. friends about my butt and my body. Is she not doing? Did she not do the same thing first though? Yeah, like she'd met the guy for like tw- ten minutes and she was already talking about it. I mean, granted, you probably shouldn't do that. Yeah. To be honest, like people are allowed to do whatever they want. Yeah, I guess. Uh, well, she knows it was Even a bad one, I was so right let's see. Next to him, that's Knowing kind of rude. that he was only with me for my body made me feel extremely insecure about Did she not myself. do that for that reason? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of hard to understand this one. It's a juxtaposition. Found a better looking girl. I guess but that kind of sucks, actually. I had many guys interested in me anyway. So I yeah, simply broke up with him reasons. and started okay. dating another guy that had DM'd me over Instagram. He was a well-known DJ here in Los Angeles. Okay. And he treated me with much more respect. Well, that's something, then, I guess. After two weeks, Uh-oh. I caught him cheating on me with another girl. This is so a spice. This is... With him too. What is happening, it man? Like guys only wanted me for a quick fling and then dumped me. This is no wild. In a real well, long-term relationship with me. This is this is absolutely wild, dude. That's why I dating guys I oh, found on Instagram. Number hey, three yeah. looks like he's got it going. <laughs> <laughs> Homeless man 101. Oh, 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 oh. It's the Happy Wheels guy, isn't it? Can you fart down this walkie-talkie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, what, dear, what sound it makes. <laughs> 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 yeah. Let's go. Instead, I signed up for college okay. with the hopes of finding a decent guy there. I'm studying marketing, and currently I'm going on dates with two different guys. Oh, well, okay. Now, what is happening mistakes, now? Now I'm taking things slow. I first while she dates two guys, yeah, she learns from her slow. past mistakes. I hate being cheated on, so I'm gonna date two guys that at the works. same time. Yeah. Well, get what you give. Gonna carry the story on, guys. Yeah. I just want to get to know the guys before I jump right in. <laughs> I also already know that I'll become a real estate agent. Oh, dang. Because I think my butt and breasts will make me stand out and help me sell properties. I thought she didn't. I so thought that she was insecure over that. that. I'm so confused. Plastic yeah. surgery won't magically fix all your problems. I thought I wanted to date the most attractive guy I could find. Okay. But now I know that what I really want is to simply be in a relationship with a good guy that I can trust. And That's who loves good. me for who I am, not for the way I look.
Okay. But at least it increased my confidence because now I feel comfortable in my own skin. Well, that's Even good. Even though the if butt anything. implants are seriously uncomfortable. They feel Ugh. like I'm sitting on two baseballs all day long. Why have you got small no button no plants? I'd yeah, never yeah. be able to get a job where I have to sit on a chair all day. It'd Dang, that kind of sucks then. So how do you sleep, up, lady? I yeah. suggest thinking twice stomach, before probably. getting plastic surgery. Then again, surgery. she's got big boobs. Thanks That's true. She sits on the side like that. She can't win. Subscribe to this got channel. Implants. Oh, she really can't win. She sits on her head. Oh. I'm, I'm a little bit like, I'm a bit concerned though. Like, I don't think there was anything to take from that story. Yeah, I kind of like. I felt like. Um, I don't know what it felt like. I, f I felt like at the start it was like good advice, but then all of a sudden she's like, but don't get plastic surgery. But then it increased my confidence and I'm going to get a job in real. Yeah. It's like, damn. It's like your mum was the reason. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's a, That's complicated. How On a scale of truth to not truth, where does this lie, Baz? Put, put where it is. Where there. That's truth. So oh. You don't know if it's truth or not. I don't not. know. It's around here somewhere. It's not true, most yeah. likely. Yeah. Not truth-ish, yeah. sort of. Guys. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I've got one. How's it going, man? Oh, like this. <laughs> We're going to have to see I'm what happens here. And I never had it's much Ruben. success with women. Okay. I don't know why. This is the opposite. Maybe because I'm overweight. Maybe oh, because okay. I've always uh, been nervous around the opposite gender. Now, I, I'm going to say straight out of the bat. I don't think... So weight isn't necessarily the biggest dependent on getting a date, is women it? Women love confidence. I was going to say, I confidence. think that's the most important thing. I Ooh, got a good son. job with a $50,000 salary. Damn. Oh, me, damn. I felt worthy of a girlfriend. Okay. I mean, I never so had one at age of 32. Worthy, I so I decided Wait, to find one at a mail order bride website. I wasn't sure if those oh, pretty girls no. were real or if I was being scammed. I don't so think I flew over to Mulga. Russia to meet with a girl called Russia. Elaine. Russia. She was 22 he and delve absolutely into this, man. gorgeous. She didn't speak much English, but oh, man. I didn't mind. No I was so you? nervous. I couldn't bring <laughs> out a word anyway. I can't so normally a girl like her would have ignored me. But Elaine was very sweet and well, treated nice. me with lots of respect. We spent a few days together. Dang, you just we left her in the park? Anything. We just went sightseeing around St. Petersburg. Okay. I noticed she likes spending money. Oh, here we go. I'm not that uh -oh. rich, so it hurt my bank account. But I was flies in there, dude? Pay. She really was beautiful. Oh, no. After I got back to the USA, I stayed in contact you with her. You know what? She wants Can your I just... card, mate. Can I just ask to, my man to lower that collar? He's got no neck. His <laughs> collar is over his chin right now. He looks like that freaking monster from Doctor Who. Yeah, but let's take it back 10 seconds and react with that chin. Here we go. You ready? She really was beautiful. Yeah, no, that's After good. After I got back How to the USA, keeping that collar there? I stayed in contact with her. So that felt uh, right. Uh, 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 okay, we should and stop now. <laughs> I was crazy after her. That's Sounds why it. I invited her to the US. Of course, oh, I paid for everything. Oh no! When she arrived at okay. my house, I made my first move of a king and tried to kiss her. Them lips, but she said they she wanted from? to wait. She uh -oh. said, "Not before marriage." Oh, and then she you're gave gonna me get a small kiss on my cheek. Don't do it, man. I wasn't sure if this was normal in her culture. Maybe no. she was religious. Uh oh! But I was so crazy in love oh, with her. Geez. I was willing to do <laughs> anything. You know what they the call The only problem this, man. was how much Go money she spent. A simp. What's this? What does that sound for? Uh. What's the definition of a simp? It's Urban Dictionary, this. Okay. Simp. A man that puts himself in a subservient, submissive position under women in hopes of winning them over without right. the female bringing anything to the table. So basically, like... Perfect example. So basically, he just wants to give her money, he wants to take on trips, give her all yeah. the marriage without anything in return just yeah. yet. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like Even it. Even when he went grocery shopping in Walmart, oh my gosh. she managed to spend a couple hundred dollars each time. And How that do you was spend that on food, to when she went man? shopping yeah. for clothes. One time, she spent $2,000 oh in a Dude, single day. Dude, why did you give her your but credit card, though? I thought though? I would never meet another girl like her, oh, so no, I proposed this is... to her. She seemed very happy and yeah. said yes. Sure she does. And just a few days later, she we got married. Oh. That night, I had my first <laughs> time. But the next day, she had changed. Wow. Suddenly, she always long. insulted me and called me a fat slob. I thought she didn't talk English. I was so shocked because it was a completely new side of her. For, we still yeah, spent another like six months together, oh, but then she got her guy. green card, which meant oh, she didn't need it. me anymore to stay oh, in the US. Oh my gosh. That's why one day, when I came home, I found my apartment Maria. completely emptied. Even she had tumbleweed taken in there. sold everything. She had even maxed out my credit cards thousand. and got me into it. Let us just take that back a second. Hold so, up. Jesus. 10,000 10, for this? 900 for those? 11,000 each? Oh everything. my gosh. She had even maxed out my credit card. I can't believe and this. Me into another $20,000. Surely in he debt. could sue her for this, though. Let's take it to she court. Is right now. She sent me a message to stop contacting her, or oh she will call gosh. the Russian mafia on me. <laughs> Seriously? I'm They're so gonna angry. They're going to come over the floor. <laughs> I'm popping out. But my lawyer told me I had no chance of winning. <laughs> what? Currently, Why? we are still legally married, and she oh still gosh. has my name. 
Yeah, but well, I hope I can divorce right? her soon. My advice to you is find always another think one. with your brain. <laughs> wow, that's that was a depressing story. That was this that was, man's left in debt. This is the thing about these real life stories; they end very realistic. Like, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen one end happy. Yeah, or if they do, it's like after so much bad, and it's like they find a personal level of happiness rather yeah. than the actual outcome being a good thing. You know what I mean? My God. Well, guys, if you've learned anything from this. Always basically peel your mashed potatoes or your potatoes before mashing them. Otherwise, yeah. there will be bits of skin in there. Yeah, definitely. You don't you don't usually want that. And like nice bit of butter in there as well. A bit, not much. Nice a bit of flavour. Just a little bit. Yeah, that Sometimes goes. a bit of gravy, but not much. Okay, guys. Should probably do that on camera so it looks okay. You know? <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. That's what I was doing. I was mashing potatoes. Hi, right, guys. Just uh, mashing my hand, weren't I? I was doing that during <laughs>